Hey everyone, welcome to episode 13 of Aqualab. As uh, many of you guys have probably noticed, it's been a quite a little while since the last episode. It's been a couple weeks. Um, if you guys saw the vlog I put on my channel, you guys will know that I took a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of a break, a little vacation away, and uh, it's uh, pretty good. <laughs> it felt pretty good to actually get away and just kind of, uh, I don't know, get away for a little while and just do stuff, other things, and... Uh, uh, today I am ready to get back into it. So we're back in Aqua Lab today, and uh, it looks like things have been just kind of running. I haven't really been in here at all. I've uh, been a few things, uh, if I remember correctly, since the last episode. If you guys will notice, this room is all now cleared out. There's no more water in here. I went ahead and used the MFFS system to go ahead and clear out all the water. Today I think I'm gonna work in here a little bit. I need to get started working on a uh, new form of power generation. Do I have the, um, no, I don't have ups to, <laughs> I, I thought I had uphill step assist, and that was, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to get that soon, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started, I'm gonna pick this up, get this, oh, hello, <laughs> get this all out of the way, and you can come back next to my each system, let's put this guy right back here where he belongs. Alright, and you guys are also going to notice that in my inventory, I have a golden helmet, which I finally got Respiration 3 on. Um, while I was away, I didn't have it chunk loaded, but um, I guess it must have been while I was recording the last episode. I checked my uh, chest up there, which we're going to go look at in here in just a minute. Um, I noticed that I did actually get a Respiration 3 enchanted book, so... About time. <laughs> it took long enough. Alright, so we're going to work on that first, I think, this episode. We're going to get that going and probably enchant uh, the other gear we have up here for um, uh, underwater usage. There we go. Phew. It's been a little while since I've done anything. Uh, so this stuff. This is what I want. Let's see. So let's actually just pull this out. I'll head downstairs real quick. I want to show you guys these uh, respiration books. Looks like I got a few more books. No. Not that one. Okay, so there's... There's one in there. Oh, there it is. Respiration 3. Efficiency 3. I think I actually have two in here. Restoration, no. Respiration 2. There we go. So, Respiration 2, Paraglide 1. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to use this one. Because I believe protection might even go over onto the gas mask as well. I'm just going to see if I can't... Uh, Rip the enchants off of this and see if we can just try enchanting that helmet. Right, so, sorry, skeleton. Ow. Okay, maybe I'm not that sorry. Ow, stop it. I'm trying to leave. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, guys. It feels weird recording again. Um, but, anyways, we're back to it. Um, let's see. Let's jump into this guy, the auto disenchanter. Pop him right there. This guy should have plenty of power and everything he needs to get going. Um, we got books, and then we'll just use the, I guess I'll just use the auto anvil, because it's got a little bit of experience left in that. Um, now, as far as power generation, while that's working, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about power generation. I remember that in my clipboard, was it my clipboard? Yeah, my clipboard. This is where we have all of our goals and stuff that we want to accomplish. Um, someone mentioned to run the lab on water, completely on water power. Um, I took a look around. There were a couple forms of... Uh, power generation with water that I noticed and um, I tried a couple of them. There's one from Buildcraft. I think it uses the water wheels and kinetic generator. Let's see. I guess it's all one word. Yeah, these things. Um, now these are actually like 11 by 11 blocks, 7 by 7, and then this one's also 3 by 3. Now you actually have to craft these and yeah, I don't know. I think I looked uh, they may last a little while I might try these later on at some point but right now I just don't have the kind of resources and power generation to get this going because uh, if you guys notice this one the big water wheel and the huge water wheel they require things like energized plates um, electrum I think that you can actually use yeah gold in VAR different gears there um, and this one hardened energized plates which requires diamonds and energized plates so that's going to require power and assembly table so uh, yeah not quite there just yet 
Now, there's also one from, I believe it's uh, Mariculture, which is called the Water Turbine. Or turbine. Boop, 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 this guy right here. I went ahead and tried him out in a single player world, and this guy substantially lowered my FPS <laughs> uh, quite a bit, noticeably, um, while I was using it. And it didn't really seem like it. Uh, well, I, I, it didn't really feel like it generated very much RF. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, shy away from the whole run the Aqua Lab on water power for now. Um, later on, I may wind up using the uh, water wheels. I think that would be kind of cool. Just right now, the resources and power I need to make it, it's going to take a little while. So we'll uh, not do that right now. All right, so let's see. Um, can you go in there? Hmm. Let's hope this works. No? All right, regular anvil? Please tell me that works. Oh, thank the Lord. Phew. <laughs> All right, can I put protection on there? Nice. All right, cool. So protection four can go on there. We're just going to need a few more levels. I don't know if I have enough in here. It might be more than enough. I don't remember. Yep, 11. There we go. Perfect. So now, instead of using the old stuff, we can use this. Awesome. Now that looks a little... That looks a little trippy. <laughs> My helmet. Look at it. Ooh, that looks weird. Okay, we're not going to stare at that all day. All right, anyway, so we got Respiration 3, Protection 4. Let's give this a good little look out here. We should be able to see a little bit better. Ah, oh, yes, see, look at that. Now, you guys should be able to see down here with me a little bit better and kind of see what's uh, being built here in Aqualab. So this is the outside of our main dome, like our entranceway. Uh, this is going to be, this is our hallway, um, of course, to our processing room. This is going to be... Uh, well, we're going to hopefully be working in today, and my air is going down, but it's being used. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I have to initiate it. We have to use our um, mechanism hotkey in order to turn the oxygen on, which has a really cool sound. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Um, maybe I might have to work on that a little bit later. I wonder if there's a way for me to automatically equip and disequip these things or de-equip later on hmm. I might have to look into that anyway all right so to get started power generation I need to get going because um, running low on fishies been having to cook these guys up to keep this thing up and running uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is to start off with power generation we're gonna start off in this room and this is what I'm gonna probably wind up doing is making a couple farms in here purely for coal crops and we'll uh, go ahead and harvest those coal crops in order to power generators and uh, anything else that can maybe run off coal for now. So uh, what am I going to want to use? First off, I know I'm going to want to use the coal seeds. Otherwise, I won't be able to get the coal, obviously. And then next off, I think I want to go ahead and use some fertilized dirt. I showed this off earlier, I believe, um, with the other crops that we were growing. Um, I think the experience seeds we were using earlier on. Yeah. All right, so how much of these can I make? 16, and then I run out of bone meal. But I got plenty of bones. So let's just toss these into the pulverizer. Let's turn that off for now. Let that run. And while that's going, let's go ahead and craft up. I'm just going to set up one of these, I think, for now. I'm going to try, because I don't know how much of this I actually have. So I need a planter and a harvester from Mine Factory Reloaded. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, so we need plastic sheets, some pistons. I think I'm going to probably need a few pistons. So let's go ahead and craft up like eight of these for now. That way we have them for later. Uh, machine frames, I know I'm going to need a few of these. Thickened glass. Let's not use thickened glass and say we did. Thank you. Let's make up like four of these just so that way I have them. And then redstone reception coil, and I'm probably going to need two of those. And then copper ingots. Do we have any bricks? We do not. But I should have some clay. Yeah, there we go. Right, we'll cook this up as well in the furnace. Right, that's full. That's working. All right, let's put you in there. All right, good. Uh, next off, I know I'm going to need some rubber. I have a little bit. 
That might be enough. If not, I got some saplings. I'll go grow some of those in a minute. Alright, harvester's next. And we need invar. Do we even have invar? I have invar. And I had just enough. What do you know? Um, Alright, let's do two shears. There we go. And I should have everything else besides the... Well, I have the plastic sheets. I guess I had a few. It's been a while, guys, I told you. <laughs> I don't remember exactly everything I have in here. Alright, there we go. Our bricks. And let's use our clipboard to go ahead and craft this. And we would want to empty this guy. There we go. Planter and harvester. Alright, now I'm going to need power to run these two guys. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I think I have an idea. If we're going to be using coal over there, we can actually, like, maybe jump start it with a little bit of coal. Because we have... Uh, a good amount of coal right now at the moment. Um, I think what I'm going to use is maybe a coal, oops, if I can spell, coal generator from Galactic Craft. These guys are pretty easy to make. Requires a furnace, aluminum wire. Ooh. Do I have aluminum? I don't even have wool. Alright, well, I got a little bit of string. That's all we really need. I'll have to get me a wool farm up and running soon. So, aluminum wire. Let's do that. And that's just to go ahead and craft up the coal generator. All right, do I have everything else? Yeah, we do. Look at that. Alright, now, I'm probably going to make just two of those for now. There should be more than enough. We'll grab, like, a stack of coal. Let's put that away. We don't really need that. Alright, now, back to the fertilized dirt. Yeah, I know. Crafting. Blah. There we go. Ooh, look at all that. Alright, so I went ahead and used it. Good amount of my rotten flesh, but we got a good amount of fertilized dirt now. I may also wind up heading up there and grabbing some of those uh, lily pads of fertility that I made earlier on. Don't really need all of that experience at the moment now, so I'll probably just go ahead and grab those and use those for the coal. Make some more of those up later on. There we go. Alright, let's head over here and let's get started. So, let's see you... And we'll grab a piece of cobblestone. Also, obviously, just like everything else, I will be fixing up this room later on. Um, let's see. So let's maybe start right here. One block off the ground. And I think I'm going to do like a 7x7 seven seven is what I'm probably going to wind up using. And hopefully the planter can actually plant onto the fertilized dirt. I'm not too sure if it can or not yet. Uh, so let's see. That's 4, 5, 6... Seven. Let's see, two, three. So there's three there, three on this side. All right, so that should be a seven by seven square. Just need to fill this in. Let's grab our builder's wand. Make this a little bit quicker. There we go. And one last side. Boom. And still got a little bit of dirt left for later. All right, let's pop these here so that we can get up here. All right, cool. Nice. I wonder how well these actually work. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the center block there. Let's go ahead and put our planter there. And actually, I want that other piece of fertilized dirt back. Thank you. And in here, we'll go ahead and place coal seeds. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter, uh, well, hmm, if that's all we're going to be using in here, let's just, um, do that, it should be alright, um, probably need to go ahead and put this there, there, and then we'll get our harvester set up, wrong way, thank you buddy, and now we're going to need our power generation, so, coal generators, think let's see now the problem with these guys is that it outputs power only on one side so let me put that right there I think it's yeah this side all right so we'll put it on the opposite side well come back here you I'm gonna put them on this side because I like the graphic I like looking at it I know I could have just put it there and flipped it around but um, I kind of want to look at the front I think it looks cool all right so as you can see it 
Um, these energy conduits here from Indorio actually connect to that side. If I plug it up to this, it will not connect. So, yeah. Stinks, but hey, it's all right. That should connect just fine. And I think I'm just going to sneak through here real quick and just do this. Might have to get some more of these. Or not. Perfect. Had just enough. All right, there we go. So, if we go ahead and put a little bit of coal in there, this is going to start heating up. It's going to take it a second, I think, before it starts actually generating power. As you can see, the whole heat's rising. I think it needs to get it to 100%, and then it should start producing a little bit of power. That, and I noticed, I, I tested this one out. Um, as far as this and a couple other coal-using generators from... Um, all the other mods we have installed. I guess it's going to take just a second. And uh, notice that this one seemed to do uh, like coal most efficiently and produced a, a decent amount of power compared to some of the other ones. So this should start getting power in just a minute. Unless I need to set you to extract. I noticed it took a minute before too, so it might have to get up to a certain power unless I'm just babbling and it's not going to work. Now, come on. I know you was working before my single player test. Come on. Maybe I might have to put... Give it a second. I might have to put a... Oh, there it goes. I guess I had to get up to... 10 kilowatts. I guess I had to fully get up. Oh, hey, what do you know? Check that out. <laughs> it's already planted, too. All right, so decent enough power. I don't know if it's actually going to stop producing. Maybe. Hmm. I was thinking maybe I might have to put a capacitor there. I don't have to, but it might be an idea. I don't know if that'll also stop it from um, producing power still or not. I think it's still just going to keep working. Because these guys shouldn't be using any power until they actually start working. But that's cool. These guys actually plant onto the fertilized dirt, which is awesome. Uh, now, I could put a block here, and it should plant right there. But I'm going to save this. I'm probably going to put water here instead. And a uh, lily pad of fertility right there. So that's cool. Now, I'm also going to need some upgrades for these guys and a place for all of this stuff to go. And how to route it properly. So I think... What do I want to do for that? Do I want to just use item ducks? Might be easier that way. Or we could use like buildcraft pipes. What other pipes do we have? Eh, we could use the transfer pipes from extra utilities. That might not be a bad idea. But then I think I need some of those transfer nodes. Oops. Not nodes. Node. How bad are you guys to make? Well, they're not horrible. I think I might go ahead and do it this way. Just because I'm not used to using the uh, transfer pipes from extra utilities. So I think it might be kind of cool to go ahead and do it this way. Um, now, lastly, do I have, I have nine inter pearls? I think what I'm going to do to transfer all of this stuff, if I have, like, excess over, I might wind up making, like, an ender chest and bringing it over. Um, I think I have some... What is that? Is it Vulcanite? Yeah, I got some Vulcanite. So if I want to make some... Oops, I'm going to want you... Wait, no, I'm not. What am I talking about? Um, if I want to make some blaze rods, we'll use the Vulcanite. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need that just yet. For now, this is going to be kind of, like, beginning off here. So let's see, transfer node, let's do that, that should work. Oh, I don't like the way that connects. Even though I know I could probably keep it from connecting, let's just do it this way for now. And I think I should still be able to do this. I don't mind the pipes, I kind of like them actually. I've been all about trying to hide pipes, you know, for such like a long time. Um, <laughs> I'm actually trying not to anymore because I'm... Well, not, not forever, but just for now, because I kind of like looking at the pipes and just, I don't know, industry and stuff, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, so we got that. This should export things out for us, hopefully automatically. And I want the seeds to go that way. So, do I have a chest on me? It's probably a no. Don't even have any wood. All right, let me go grab a chest real quick. Probably have um some fancy chests. Yeah, there we go. Some iron chests. That should work. I just want to do a little messing around with this real quick. All right, so we'll put an iron chest right there. So when this is actually ready to harvest, I don't know. I don't think I can actually grow these guys quickly unless I use my like my watering can. I'm gonna try something real quick. I wonder if my watering is my watering can even working? Come on. Come on. There we go. There's a little bit of growth. That's the other cool thing. We don't need like water around in well actually I have water everywhere, but I'm guessing I don't need water for the fertilized dirt. So I could like, um, there we go. Alright, now I want to see something here. Alright, so put the seeds in there. I want the seeds to go down into the planter instead. I didn't get any coal essence, which is weird. Ah, it pooped it out the back. Maybe I needed to put it in the back. Can't really tell what that does. Like I said, I am not used to using extra utilities, transfer pipes, so I'm trying to get used to them. Alright, let's try that. That might work. Alright, let's do a little bit more growing. I think this guy's a little bit, yeah, he's, he's pretty close. So come on, you. Hurry up. There we go. Alright, so hopefully now... Unless it made its way into the planner, which is what I'm hoping it did not happen. No. Oh, there it is. There's a coal essence. Alright, so I do want to send the coal seeds out from here to there. So how do I... Hmm. Is there an item filter? I think there was. Yeah, I think that's it right there. The item filter. Um, unless it's a filter pipe. Uh, filter pipes can be used to sort items in different directions. Ah. I could use that. I think I might. It's not too bad. I just need the dyes. Let's go see if we have the dyes. I really need to get some stairs there as well. Alright, let's do filter. Let's see if we can actually craft one of these. And you need to shush for now. Quiet phone. Uh, what am I missing exactly? I need ink and red. Nope, nope. I just need red. Wait, hold on. Red and green. Okay. So, rose. Red. Alright, now I know I have a rose in here. <laughs> a couple of roses, actually. Thank you. Oh, and before I do that, I'm going to pop this guy into the pulverizer first. Because if you put him in the pulverizer, you actually get extra out instead of just the two. So, yeah. Also, ooh, unfortunately, no cactus green. Now, there's another way I can get cactus green or a green dye. And, let's see. Let's go ahead and type it in. I think we can get, um, like, kelp or something. Green stained. I know you can use that as dye. Um, let me check in here real quick. Do we have any kelp? No. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick is put my flippers on. We're going to go for a little swim. We're going to turn on our diving helmet. And I'm going to grab some of this. Right here, this kelp. We'll break that. All that should break. And if we take this and go to our blacksmith's anvil, 
turn that off now. Bloop. Put some kelp on this. We should be able to hit it with a hammer. Just a few clicks and it should make us some dye. Some green dye. Perfect. I'm going to have to make me another one of those soon. Uh, blacksmith's anvil. Bring it down this way. Oh, it's so much better having respiration. I can actually see everything. It's so much nicer. Alright, there we go. Take our flippers off. Alright, so this green dye should hopefully work. And then just put transfer pipe there. Nice. There we go. I think I only need one of those for now. And I will put this guy right there. Alright, so if I right click on him, do I put the item that I want to go that way in there? I don't think that's the way to do it, but I'm going to try it. Okay, maybe it is. Alright, so if I want that to go in there, I want red to be that. I don't know if that's going to work, though. We're going to try it. So if we can get some of these guys to grow again, finally. While I was up there, I should have grabbed that lily pad of fertility as well. But what I'm going to wind up doing is making this a little bit more modular, I guess. Or expandable, easily expandable. Um, so basically we'll have like one level here, and then we'll go up a level. So I'll have like maybe like another planter, um, maybe a couple blocks above this one. We'll have another layer of these uh, coal crops above this with the fertilized dirt. Right, so cool, there's that. Hopefully the coal essence makes its way into here. And we should have got we should have got seeds out of that, and that the seeds should have made their way into here. And I'm pretty sure we had 11 in there, and it, so it replanted in there, so the seeds should have made its way back in there. Perfect. I guess another way I could test this is to go ahead and put this in here. So instead, it's searching for an inventory to take it, and I think it went ahead and already made its way in here. Perfect. All right, that's going to work for me. Last thing I want to do before I finish off for today is expand this. So we want this to be like 7x7. Seven seven. So I need some upgrades for MFR. Upgrades. Uh, let's see where are we at. Increase radius size. So we want to increase this by 3, I think. Is that right? Or 2. Might be 2 or 3. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do iron. Do I want to do iron or tin? Tin would be cheaper just because tin is probably a little bit more abundant for me at the moment. Yeah, see, so got two types of tin right there. Iron. Eh, that's about how much iron I have. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with the tin. Just because I, I guess I got more tin. Uh, I'm going to need some the rubber bars smelted. So let's put that in our furnace real quick. Let that cook up. One. I'm going to need six of these guys. Two. And while that goes, let's go ahead and clean up the inventory a little bit. I also want to check on that other coal generator as well. See how well that's working. I should be able to go ahead and just put the rest of this up for now. There we go. There's our six. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to do two of those, one for each of them. And I'm going to put you right there. So here in just a second, that should start planting more coal crops. Perfect. And let's go ahead and put you right there. And that should allow it to harvest that much. And just to make sure... We can make a sledgehammer from, I believe, MFR to actually be able to see that. All right, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more. We're going to need some, uh, oh, wait, hold on, no. Like that. We're going to need some plastic sheets. Bloop. Precision sledgehammer. Perfect. All right, let's put that away. 
So if we hold this in our hand, we should be able to automatically see exactly where this is going to be able to harvest. As you can see, it's kind of flashing a couple different colors. Um, I'm not sure which is which. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out for now. Let's see, it looks like, yep. All right, so the blue kind of flashing blue, that's actually the harvester's uh, size that it can actually harvest from. And then the other one would be the planter. So it's a little bit bigger than what we need, but like I said, as far as materials are concerned, tin's cheaper for me at the moment than using iron, so um, it shouldn't affect anything. And this guy is out of power, so that is a problem with the coal generator. Maybe I'll switch this guy out with a furnace for now. Uh, furnish generator for extra utilities. Oops, if I can spell it. Cannot spell at all. Alright, furnish generator, pretty easy to make. We're just gonna need a block of iron, like I said. Don't like using all the iron, but this is probably one of the second best as far as um, efficiency goes that I tested um, in a single player world. I'm not saying it is or not, but it's my experience. Um, and we can also route and auto craft the coal essence that this actually winds up um, harvesting and craft it into coal to actually put into our furnace generator if we wanted to. Uh, but this should also be able to source a decent amount of power, so uh, that way it's not going to like be as bad, I guess, as the coal generator. As long as I have something, I guess, the power can go into, the coal generator will work pretty well. But otherwise, I think for now I'm just going to stick with that. I'll do a little bit of testing, I'll let you guys know later on, probably in a different episode, uh, what would be better. But for now, we'll just let this run. I'm going to probably head upstairs, clean this up a little bit, um, maybe, we'll see, I'm not sure. And uh, maybe see about getting that lily pad in here and some more seeds going. So that's going to about do it for today, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I feel good to be back. <laughs> and um, if you guys rate the video, I'd really, really appreciate that. And if you guys would have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. Till next time, guys. See you guys then. Goodbye.